What I want to talk about today is reading. Why? Because there's so much fucking hype about it today. It's literally insane. So, what the fuck are you doing? Bro, I'm like reading a book, dude. It's Bro. entrepreneurship. You're gonna be an entrepreneur, man. So about a few years ago, I read a little BuzzFeed article about like top five things successful people do. Now, wanting to be a successful person, whatever the fuck that means, I decided to read that article. And of course, like most articles of its type, there was a little snippet that said, reading is really fucking great. All successful people read, 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 read. So of course, this led me down a path of reading three hundred books over the course of the next two years. I know everything about film. I've seen over 240 of them. And guess where that got me? It got me past 300 books, but nowhere else. I can say the same thing for a lot of people. There is no shortage of people who have read a ton. So I'm not bragging because this is nothing special. So many people these days are reading a ton of books. There are products out there about how to read faster, books on how to speed read, guides, YouTube videos, how to read faster, how to read more books in one day, how to read 500,000 books uh, in the evening or some shit or on the way to work. And it's a bit disappointing because I think it's just another form of procrastination because that is what I'm seeing in other people. Other people who wanna accomplish certain goals that they tell me about, but then rather than go do that, they spend six months reading. And I did that too. There's many things I wanted to do, but never actually got around to doing. So what I would do instead is I would read. And why the fuck do we actually do this? The reason why is because reading is so easy. You don't need to think too much. Now you might think, oh my God, words. <laughs> but it's very linear. You start at point A and you end at point Z. No matter who you are, it's the same journey. When you want to start a YouTube channel, when you start want to start a business, the answers aren't so obvious. There's no one there to tell you what the next step is. It's way harder. So it can be a lot more scary. It could be a lot more uncertain. Now, I'm not saying reading is completely bad, but you need to realize, are you using this as a form of procrastination or are you helping this to actually improve your ability to achieve your goals. Now, let me tell you about how I actually use reading. I used to read things from front to back, not so much anymore. Mm, like, you're doing it wrong. No, dude, this is how we read books these days, you know? Change now what I do is way different. I go for what I wanna do, whether it is starting my business, building my YouTube channel, uh, lifting weights, getting a nicer body, eating healthier. Uh, and then when I find out I have no idea what the fuck to do or how to do it, I read. So I go, I buy a book, and I don't actually read the whole thing. What, what I do instead is I look at the table of contents, a beautiful fucking thing, that is, and I look at the chapters that look like they could be useful. And I'm like, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Oh, I want to learn about this. So I go there. And so what I do there is I just read that chapter and most of the time it actually helps me. So I actually treat the book like a person I can talk to. But I treat it in such a way that I would treat a person who's a coach, asking specific questions, getting specific answers to specific roadblocks that are in my path. And there's one other thing I'd like to add. You're likely to forget everything you fucking read. I know I did. There's this graph, a really cool graph that shows how our knowledge about a topic decays when we stop learning it. So the last bit of information that I think would be useful to you when reading is to write questions down while you read. Use this thing called Quizlet, you've probably heard about it, and write down shit as you are reading it. Write down questions you have, things that confuse you, uh, things you learned. And then rather than going to reread the book, just go back through your flashcards. Just go back through your Quizlet or Anki, and then you'll be able to recall everything you've learned. So it's almost like you get to keep everything you learned rather than forgetting it. I just wanna reiterate my message. Don't read from front to back, go after your goals, treat books like coaches, and record what you've learned so that you don't forget it, and stop reading 500 books because the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna read 500 fucking books. Now, if you wanna learn more about technology, um, how to start your own company, um, how to evaluate products, follow my channel. I'm gonna be posting new things about how to improve yourself, 
how to uh, come up with products, what's going on today in the tech startup realm. Uh, follow, I'm gonna be posting pretty regularly. See you next time.